Hello, beloved. Welcome to your message from God himself. I thank you so much for your time. I appreciate and value it. Let us tap in and proceed, okay, with your message from God. There is someone here. I feel like you're dealing with a robotic, cartoonish, cartoonishly wicked person like not even just wicked i feel like someone is just like slap them with a straight jacket and put them in a psychiatric hospital type energy because i feel like someone here is abnormally obsessive over your identity to the point of insanity for them someone is being driven insane here and I feel like this is someone who has who has spent their whole life before even encountering you crossing paths with you. This is someone who spent life itself, their life, né? their life, manufacturing a specific character, way of being, personality, or personality traits or character traits or verbiages. Like this is someone who has trained themselves to be who they are. They are not really who they are. It's a portrayal. It's an act. This is someone who tried to block your pathway. Okay, someone tried really hard here. This is someone who tried really hard to do this, to block your pathway to stop you, you know, to just end you, you know, end you. I feel like someone wanted to creep you out to the point where you end yourself or someone wanted to be your worst, your worst nightmare, your worst enemy, um, your arch nemesis, okay? Someone here was just so determined, very determined here. But I feel like something has abruptly came to an end or something is abruptly ending right now in this person's life. I feel like this is the bullying upon everyone, including yourself. This is someone that I feel like they've been stripped. You know, they've been stripped of whatever power, whatever authority, whatever leverage that they thought they had upon people. It's being taken away. Someone is losing control of themselves, of their life. And I feel like this has already... It's like, this is unavoidable. Okay. So I feel like this is someone here that hovers. They, they don't, they, they, this is like a pack person, pack mentality, you know? I feel like this is someone that like, it's like the mean girls analogy where like there's this person who feels like they're leading these, this group of people and they're the lead, they're the, the boss lady, the boss man, like someone here is immature, childish. And I feel like they dark too, but still immature and childish, nonetheless. So I feel like you're dealing with someone here who, who's having a, a sort of awakening I feel like you're, you're being used as like some form of, I feel like a spiritual awakening here. This is someone who's having a spiritual awakening. They're seeing life in a completely different way. Things are changing. These shifts are happening. It's like things are not the same. And it's like, I feel like this has been divinely orchestrated. Okay. I feel like also this person's ancestors have been very worried, you know, about them because of their behaviors on earth. But nonetheless, you know, towards you. 
But nonetheless, I feel like here this matter is being dealt with. I feel like it's in God's hands, literally. I feel like you were blocked and protected from this person's wrath. And I feel like, you know, now this person's losing friends, like slowly but surely. No one wants to be around them for some reason. For whatever reason here, nothing seems to be going the way they want. But you see, what does that mean, beloved? That means that something backfired on them here. All that they've done here. That means that all the energy that they put out in Central Way is returning back to Cinder, back home, back where it started, back where it belongs. So someone here is in shambles about that. They feel this, I feel like they don't understand because I feel like, you know, it's really um, unsettling. It's like you unsettle them, you unsettle their spirit, like just who you are. Someone's really worried that you might be doing things to them behind the scenes, that you might be doing witchcraft or you might be going to spiritual practitioners or, you know, you might be a licensed spiritual practitioner. Someone is afraid of what you know. Someone is afraid of your intuition here. There, someone is afraid of how tapped in you are, how deep you, you, you go. This is crazy. I feel like you're dealing with somewhat of a predatory energy here. Someone who, an example would be someone, a, a bully, right? A bully who keeps friends around them that they can control using some form of manipulation. This could be spiritually based or actually like just psychologically based here like keeping people around keeping friends around them that know less or can therefore they can easily be controlled or told or lied to so i feel like this person has been like this not to you but to everyone like everyone gets a piece of them right and I feel like it's becoming very vivid to this person that you are not one of them. You are not for that bullshit. You are never going to be on that shit. Like, you're way too ahead. You know what I'm saying? They know that. And I feel like not only do they know that, they fear that fact. It's not just one fact. I feel like it's more than one fact about you here. Something coming up, something being revealed, something being told, something being shown, like, I feel like you are since a stage or since a topic, you are being looked into, looked up, looked at, spoken about here a lot by the people in this person's reality. They know you now, like they know your name, they know what you're about, and they know not to fuck with you like that. They respect you now. But I feel like this was after some form of an awakening they all had about you that came at a cost the expense of this person's own reputation because i feel like this was someone who created a persona based on your life thinking that it was only a matter of time till they destroyed you and had their way so it wouldn't matter if they lied they would still get their way someone here is not only ruthless but they reckless young-minded and sick-minded too not a good combination it's like a, a sociopathic person with um psychopath traits like it's just crazy you know what i'm saying it's just it's 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 in instability here crazy in a sense that it blows your mind as a person right that someone can still function like this it's like someone takes some sort of drugs substances someone puts something in their system all the time someone is constantly sourced numb to it numb to the pain it's like someone here feels deep pain right now someone is in pain like literally i feel like this person is really guilt-ridden traumatized hurt 
and fixated on what you got going on in your life. Wanting you, wanting to find you or find you out so that they, they gain leverage over you, power over you. Like this, it's like a sort of like student master energy where let's say the reference point would be or case study. The case study here, guys, is that there is like someone at your job, right? And this is someone who you, you've surpassed with your accolades, like you're way ahead of this person you, and they know that and you have a different position than them. You know, you are ahead in, the, in that regard. And it's like, it becomes sort of like a competition for this person in your work who wants to have what you have, but hasn't evolved enough to even tap into what you are on. Like, just mentally, psychologically, I feel like someone, it's, it's like the reference point would be, this person is just not inclined at all. They just, it's like someone that just wants to fulfill the, their own needs. They don't give a fuck about anyone else. And that's what makes them predatory, sociopathic and psychopathic because they have no morale virtue unless, they show no empathy unless it benefits them. And that just says a lot already, you know? This is this person that we are tapped into here. But nonetheless, I feel that the reference point here, okay, I'm being called not to continue with the reference point yet. Yeah, so the master student analogy would be that, you know, this, 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 this person in your workplace then offers to be your friend, not to just be your friend genuinely but to learn your tips your tricks your codes so that they can steal them from you and then become you or even surpass you because they feel like they're intellectual enough they just need you to teach them certain things and then yeah they're good but it's still the master student analogy you taught them it'd still be you they'd still be your son Yeah, these, these bitches is your sons. <laughs> They'd still be below you. They learn from you. And you, you know what they say, they learn from the best. That's why they feel this spirit and power to even be that high of, of a person with it. Like, cause you are that. You made it look possible. Let's start there. So the reference points, with the workplace analogy, this person wants to befriend you because you, this is reference, let's not say you, this person wants to befriend this person who has mastered the accolades in the very same workforce just to stab them in the back. So this is the analogy of this person, right? This is how you can look at them with regards to what type of person that they are, like they're willing to just disregard everyone and just have their way. Like someone glorifies themselves here. Someone is like, they believe that they're like some form of a goddess or a god. You know, they believe that they embody some form of a likeness that is magical. You know, I feel like this is someone that tells themselves those kind of things and keeps people around them and does things in their reality that feed into that very same illusion for a very long time. You know, but I feel like something is happening in their life where all of that is abruptly ending. All of that is coming to a straight halt. This is someone that can, cannot, cannot continue with regards to this behavior because their life is changing. Things are not the same. They're losing control, losing themselves, losing the narrative because it's all formulated by lies anyway. Losing the friends because it was never real genuine friendship to them anyway. They knew what they were doing, you know, to keep the friends or to uphold this, maintain this image around them. It's like, None of what this person has done for themselves or sees that they've planted on earth with regards to their deeds of life, none of that has been effective because it's been done in inauthenticity.
let's proceed further yeah the devil okay capricorn energy here someone is a true dark spirit here and they embrace that that's why this is happening This is someone that truly would love to like meet you or meet you again, but this time they 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 want to have a different approach. Just someone is like a creep here, man. Like it's like they think like you just gotta forget and just like move on with all the the wickedness, the ruthlessness. Like this person, that's why I say slap him with a straight jacket and put him in a psychiatric hospital because this per person does not function like a normal civilian. Someone here is sociopathic, psychopathic, and that's not in clinical ways. That's in spiritual terms, spiritual based. Someone's not okay, if you know what I mean here, okay? Let's tap in further. I feel that in this person's spirit, they're thinking a lot about their life, their future, and how they want to move forward about themselves, about their image. This is someone who I feel wants to portray themselves differently. <laughs> no. They want to remanufacture the persona that they've based their life on into something new because it's all based on lies. So they want to reinvent themselves in a way that's going to still enable them to uphold some form of image or authority or power Whatever delusion here they're trying to feed. We have the Nine of Wands and the Six of Swords here of Sagittarius and Libra. I feel like you have someone here who is truly a fan, truly, truly deep inside. They, they love you and they also value you. They want to glorify you, but... This one, this one person is too much of a narcissist to ever admit that even to themselves. So what do they do? They feed, they, 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 they indulge in hate to feed into the delusion that you are not who you are. Even though it's quite clear, everyone can see it, everyone knows it, they choose to exist in a world of their own that is pure illusion and delusion. No one thinks like this person. And I feel like they don't even know that, they don't even understand that yet, or they've yet to understand what that means. No one, like, I feel like there's just so much to this person that you, as someone sane-minded and, you know, chilling with this person, you'd really not want to be around them again, because you would clearly see, like, this, this darkness that hovers over them. I feel like even looking at a picture, like, someone is just dark, man. Someone is dark-spirited here. And it like it's showing. Mm. It's showing now. Mm. I feel like what they've been doing under the moon, the unseen, and then coming out and portraying this act and this image and playing this game of ignorance and oblivion. I feel like those acts are catching up because I feel like they're having a spiritual downgrade. Someone here is no longer going to be the same. Like, as we know it, I feel like this person is already changing themselves, but it's not going to turn out the way they think. Because again, they're still in a delusional state of being. The reality is someone here has been lying to the world about who they are, and they're now facing a tower moment, a spiritual awakening. That is, that is like, I feel like you were like a vessel to that. For this person. As they were for you too. Because only a fool. Could teach you. This. These lessons. That you got from this person. We have the eight of cups here. Scorpio energy. Yeah, someone here was used as a vessel for you by God, you know. Someone allowed, God allowed this person to, to be this arch nemesis of yours and be this demon in the house, you know, some, like, 
I feel like God was just narrating and orchestrating this game. Not, not that it was God's idea. I feel like God was just handling this for you. I feel like you are heavily protected, beloved, whether you know this or not. Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like you're dealing with someone here who does not want to face the consequences of their actions. This is this is so insane. This is crazy. I feel like after all that, after all that, this is someone that just wants to just swoop it under the carpet, under the rug, under the couch, and just be like, okay, I'm gonna change my identity and I'm gonna disappear, or I'm gonna just be a completely different person. Or it's like forgetting that. They planted certain seeds here. Certain things, certain actions were taken that can't be undone. I feel like if this is spiritually based, that's even more scarier because there are things that are not going to leave this person alone because they conjured them up and sent them your way and now everything is backfiring. And if this is not spiritually based, then this is someone that is trying to ignore what they've done without any consequence, hoping that no, hoping that they don't get caught up. So whatever the narrative is, with that being said, I feel like this was someone who spent their whole lives trying to be a certain way or depict a certain persona, a character, so much so that they ended up losing themselves in it, becoming too attached to the character that they created this could be like a reference. Let's give it a reference. A reference point would be like Instagram. The analogy, well, the dilemma, right? That I would like to give is like, I feel like Instagram creates a dichotomy of self. Dichotomy is sort of like, imagine a tree that branches out into a tree that has branches that keep branching out into two, into two, into two. So dichotomy is like the branch out of two things or the, the, the merging of two, the infusions of two things. I feel like it's like Instagram is like the dichotomy of, you know, the persona and the real person. You know, there's like Instagram, which is an app that wasn't even here like 10, 12 years ago. It was created and human beings, humankind tap in. And here we are now in this elusive state as if Instagram is real life when it's easy to depict something either than to actually be about it in real life. But moving further on from that reference, it would be like, this is someone who lives that kind of life, like that Instagram life of wanting clout or wanting to chase a certain way of looking not just Instagram, just social media, like, or just like being seen in reality. They just, someone here cannot live with that, without the eyes of others. Someone here is channeling a very dark ancestor but I feel like your ancestors, I feel like you, 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 this person has only one ancestor by their side or had, <laughs> but like, I feel like whoever, if this is spiritually based, right? This is for, if it's spiritually based guys, this is a spiritual channel. So, I feel like this person walks with one ancestor. They're not equipped to have many ancestors because many ancestors are ashamed of this person. They wouldn't stand by their side. They wouldn't stand for this. They wouldn't take this behavior. So they turn their backs. Unless this person changed their ways, 
but I feel like they haven't and there's they they have a struggle doing so all their life, changing their ways. Now I feel like they walk with one ancestor and you have many, many, many ancestors. That's why, simply put, you can't be untouched. You can't be touched. You will remain unscathed, untouched. Because you put in the work. You walk the path. And you have earned the rank. You are not just abusing power and authority. You are not an evil-minded person. Someone here wanted so desperately to believe that and still wants to believe that till this day. But I feel like the real truth is too painful to look at, so they spend all their life projecting here. Something is happening, though. I'm seeing something here. Something spiritual, very spiritual here. Something very spiritual was done by this person like very dark spiritual dark spirituality like this person did dark spirituality like tapped into dibbled and dabbled into dark spirituality here and i feel like they got themselves into trouble huh oh I feel like now this person is trapped, okay? Trapped in their own deeds, dog deeds that can't be undone. I feel like this can't be undone. Yeah, the emperor. We have Aries here. I'm being called only to take the Knight of Cups here, Scorpio. So in the challenge position, we have this person's emotions. And then the issue is the Emperor energy, which is their control. So they grappling, they grapple, they struggle. They are struggle with control is the problem here. And their emotions are the challenge. Because I feel like this person cannot maintain this control because they're becoming too overwhelmed. It's not working out. Things are not happening. It's like they don't know what to do. They're like down and out with it. Someone is just like trying to really portray an act here or give off a certain illusion to make you believe something about them or make people believe something about them or to just make it make you seem like you lie or someone here has this false sense of identity that they keep projecting to you here trying to control your narrative like i feel like this is literally someone who is trying to control your narrative trying to control how you feel literally someone that's trying to just dominate you this is spiritual abuse. I feel that this is spiritual abuse done upon you, spiritual attack, attack sent your way, done by someone who was evil and wanted the outcome of their desire. Hmm. Five of Wands crowning the Knight of Cups. A lot of Aries energy here. I feel like, you know, Aries speaks of the baby. You know, the baby energy during a tantrum. I feel like someone here went above and beyond in such a childish way, but in, it's like dark ways that lead to like, like childish antics that lead to dark ways. Someone took it too far here and they're caught up now unable to continue unable to continue this illusion that they're okay because everything is happening so quickly so abruptly so intensely that it's troubling their psychosis someone here cannot stop channeling like this negative energy against you like yeah, judgment. Someone is facing judgment. 
yeah like i said this is this is like spiritual jail time here because someone did something bad to someone who was very important someone chosen someone someone anointed this was someone who tried to hide that though. Like I feel that in my spirit so much, like they pushed themselves to, to the limit to hide this, you know, hide this sort of truth that, you know, they're in too deep and they did something really bad out of anger. Someone here went, did something that was treacherous here to try and stand in your way. Yeah, someone here played with the devil here, the devil energy. I feel like this person saw you as some, yeah, they really tried to stand in your way, man. Someone here was really committed to bringing you down and didn't care how you felt about it and didn't care what your emotions were about it. I feel like this was someone ruthless at heart and in spirit, someone who wanted to have the outcome of their dreams by taking your lifeline. Someone here made a death wish here someone really it could be like blowing a candle and and like speaking that intent here i'm seeing that vision you understand how like someone here was really committed someone here was really committed they went too far here And I feel like they did so much. And I feel like everything is just ending. Everything is ending. Everything that they 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 just did they did. It's like when it resurfaces and, and it's coming back around now, and it's just like it's not looking good. I feel like this person did a lot of dark things, man. Um, one, ones which are concealed because it's like spiritual contempt here. Spiritual deviousness. It's like, this is dark shit, you know? And I feel like someone has to pay the consequence, okay? Someone must pay, yeah, the five of cups. Someone here was so concerned about money or some form of inheritance, some form of wealth, or some form of outcome that would serve them in ways that they needed, okay? One way could be financially. Whatever was needed in this, person li this person's life, they felt like your life could fill the void, your identity, if they could just take that. Yo, someone's used to this. I feel like someone's done this before. Someone has like stolen people's essence before. I feel like someone's done this to many people, to too many people. Someone has been on a roll for far too long here, tormenting and torturing others and just being an evil person and expecting no consequence, just being like that. Like someone here, they, can, they even smile at that. They smile at their own darkness sometimes. Like, shit, I'm such a, I'm such a bad person, man. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, you truly are. Let's proceed here. Someone here is now lacking the self-control to continue with the self-preservation, to continue with this desire to have their life the way that they want. Someone is lacking that free will 
to continue with this type of behavior. Like, I feel like this person just, someone can't do it no more, man. Someone can't do it no more. This is someone that can't do it no more. They just, it's becoming too much. It's too overwhelming. It's too, it's just too much for them. I feel like someone's breaking down. Someone's truly broken down. Someone's truly upset with life, upset with themselves. As always, they're blaming everyone else outside of themselves. Like this person does that a lot. They play the blame game where they blame people for their own. They lack that accountability. That's what makes them weak. I feel like someone here is very weak willed. Like if it's not desire, if they don't have something that they, if they're not driven by negative desire, then they don't have any motivation. It's that type of energy. Doesn't that say a lot about this person's rank vibration? If it's not negative desire, then there's no motivation. I mean, like, bro, you are like so dark. You are so lost. Like, you are so injured, bro. So now I feel like this person is, is like very heartbroken in a very dark place. Unable to accept the party is over. The game has ended. The game is over. The thrill, the thrill seeking, the revenge tactics, like everything is just over. Now I feel like this person's facing the reality of their own actions and failing, lacking accountability, failing in, in, in taking the loss. But here you are busy winning. I feel like you've always been winning. This person just didn't want to see it that way. But now I feel like the delusion here is breaking because of some form of awakening this person is having about life, about you, about the world, about themselves, about what they've done. It's all coming back full circle here. And I feel like this is someone that needs to be purified, be cleansed at a river, baptized. Someone needs to repent here. This is someone that needs to truly, truly repent before it's too late. I'm being called to end it here for you, beloved. Really hope this helped you and brought you closure to the heart. I'll see you again tomorrow. Okay. Um, I hope this message resonated when you watch this at the time that you needed it for your mind and your heart, okay, and your spirit here. I'm saying you love, okay, bye.